Hello, hello. God bless you all. This is, is the continuing reading of the book of First of John, chapter 3. And we are so happy, so grateful to continue this reading of the Bible. And let us con let's start with a prayer. Father God, we come before your presence in the name of Jesus to give you glory, thanks, and worship to your holy name. Father, thank you for everything. Thank you, Father God. We ask you for your forgiveness, Father God, and that you clean us, Father God, and you wash us because of your Son, Jesus Christ. Sacrifice for us on the cross, resurrecting on the third day, sitting down on the throne on your right hands with power and authority and glory. Father God, and giving us, you have given us Jesus as a high priest where we can come before your presence, God, and before the throne of grace and pray and ask you to help us, God, in time of need, and we can find your mercy, your mercy and your grace. We pray that through this reading, we can come closer to your love, come closer to you, Father God, and receive from your Holy Spirit the truth that we need, everything that we need, Father God, and that your Holy Spirit teach us and help us in this walk of life. God, thank you for this moment, and we pray, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, let us read um, Book of First of John, Chapter Three. Starting, like see that, see what kind of love the Father has given us, given to us, that we shall be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God children now and what we will be has not yet appeared. But we know that when he appear, we shall be like him because we shall see him as he is and everyone who trusts sorry and then and everyone who does hope in him purify himself as he is pure everyone who make a practice of sinning also practice lowness sin is lowness you know that he appeared in order to take away sins and in him there is no sin no one who abide in him keep on sinning no one who keep on sinning has either seen him or know him That's a very strong statement. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous, as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the work of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning for God's seed abide in him. And he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God. By this it is evident 
who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not practice righteousness is not of God, nor his nor is the one who does not love his brother you know and this is once again those things that alert us giving us alert um or oh, oh, things of of kind of people that say they follow god and love god but they do not do righteousness they do not love the brothers or sister in Christ. Neither they love their neighbors and and lies and evil continue and the same sin continue um, bombarding them and they continue in the same sin and can stop because they have not yet died into their. They have not yet committed themselves to follow Christ they have not yet surrendered themselves to really into the genius um the true convin convincing uh, or the true com the true um convincing of their repentance um genius genius convention of the heart where they literally understand I must surrender it all. Um, and <clears throat> that's a passage where Jesus confront Paul. I'm sorry, Jesus confront um, Peter. Jesus confront Paul too. But Jesus confront Peter and Jesus told Peter that he must um, he must repent and so he can be born again and this part of Peter life is very important because we can see Peter really committed um into loving jesus christ when he, when he was confronted by jesus do you love me do you love me do you love me remember peter denied christ three times um and that was the moment when peter was confronted whether he really loved jesus to follow him and peter really repented from his action of denying Jesus and and came to Christ and really follow him after being healed and restored by Jesus um, and Jesus asked him do you love me three times and that was like the part where Peter um, repented from his heart but also when the Bible calls um, the new birth um, when Peter um, received the Holy Spirit on his life that's the birth you know that's the life that came in him and really all the apostles received that blessing that first um, baptized of the Holy Spirit the spirit of truth the spirit of life they helped them carry on the the, the message carry on the calling up for their lives okay so Repentance is very important in asking for forgiveness and really repenting from real, um, real, real repenting from the heart. It's very important for everybody to be convinced um, to really follow Christ. For this is the message that you have heard from the beginning. That we shall love one another. We shall not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brothers righteous. Do not be surprised, brothers, that the world hate you. 
we know that we have passed out passed out from death into life because we love the brothers whoever does not love whoever does not love abide in death yeah. whoever does does not love abide in death everyone who hate his brother is a murderer and who and you know that no murderer murder has entered life abiding in him uh, say eternal life and no murder has eternal life abiding in him that's very important for us to repent you know repent from unactions repent from all evil action repent you know because whoever commits murder even when they're taught you just say everything start you know in the desire of your heart well you take it to also you have it in your thoughts you think about evil things you know repent here first repent in your mind repent from the heart repent and don't do the action sadly some people do the action like Cain and all the people have created the action of murder others you know while there's time to repent is the time to repent and ask God for forgiveness so you can and and enter so you can have eternal life abiding in you you know but very important to ask God for forgiveness by this we know love that he laid down his life for us Jesus his love and he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our life for the brethren. but if anyone has the word if any if anyone has the words good and sees his brother in need yet closes his heart against him how does god love abide in him and this is a very important message for that have gone through generation to generation but this generation that there's a lot ways that you can make worth a lot of ways you can make money a lot of ways you can become rich a lot of ways that you can have a lot um you say okay let's talk about this you say once again let's confront us okay all right let's confront our heart let's confront our mind by this thinking by this teaching of the scripture right by this we know love that's a statement saying by this we know that jesus is love by this we know love that he jesus laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our life for the brethren but if anyone has the word need if anyone has the words good and sees his brother in need yet closes his heart against him how does god love abide in him we cannot ignore the necessity that other people are going through it is true sometimes um people go through process in life and necessity and life because we're on decision are we are guilty for that no we're not guilty but if you see your brother in need and needs it's not only money it's not only clothes also and, and a, you see your brother need help in advice you see your brother need help in counseling you see your brother in need help in you help him achieve something in life like help him with thing of school um getting a job or of any kind of help that you can provide and i know that here 
is talking about if you have plenty in your life do not close your eyes to help your brother that is in need you know it's not about whether he deserves or doesn't deserve your help is it's your responsibility is our, our responsibility as christian to help our brothers in needs okay so doesn't say here it either they're worthy or not worthy for our help um, if they're being obedient or not being obedient um it is confronting us that that have a little bit more than them and they are going through needs for us to be able to help them in their process they are going through and not shut our compassionate heart towards them okay so hopefully i can explain that okay So, and by this we show that the love of God is in us, all right? How does God love us by Him? Little children, let us not love in words or talks, but in deed and in truth, in action. Let us love in deed, really come in and say, okay, here I am. How can I help you? You know, in truth. By this we shall know that we are of the truth and and reassure, reassure our heart before him. For whenever our heart condemns us, God is greater than our heart and he knows everything. And this is true. Sometimes we will feel like we should do something and we so feel bad that we didn't and our heart con and condemn us that we should do something but we didn't do it in the moment. And even here, guys, say, God is not like you that will condemn you. God is great that our heart. God is great, greater than our heart and he knows everything. You see, not only he knows the intention of why you didn't get help, also he he knows how to convince you next time help, okay? Or to ask to that you or take you to that you you're sorry, and he knows everything. He knows everything. He knows why you're not helping. He knows why you didn't take the step. He knows even the other side he knows what you're asking for help he knows the intention of your heart is that it is genuinely that you're asking for help or you're asking for help to um because you know christian must um have that compassion heart so god knows the intention of the other side too why they're asking for help and and if they're taking advantage of that so god knows both sides there's nothing hidden before god so this part you know, God knows everything. Let's put it that way. There's nothing hidden before the heart, before God. So, God knows everything. Beloved, if your heart does not condemn us, if, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask we receive from him because we because we keep his commandments and do not and do what please him and this is and this is his commandment that we believe in the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another just as he has commanded us Whoever keep his commandments abide in him, abide in God, and God in him. And by this we know that he abide in us by the spirit who he has given us. <laughs> I I like this part. You know, I like this part because and this is com his commandment. That we believe in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. 
And uh, there's another part in the Bible that say, God, one work, God, one, one work, God, one from us. That we believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, and I just find it so interested um, because once again, it gives us so much peace and understanding that God wants us to believe and obey in this his commandment that we believe in the son Jesus Christ that we love one another and it just has his commanded con, con, commanded us so right beautiful whoever keep his commandments abide in him abide in God abide in God and God in him and by this we know that he abide in us by the spirit who he has given us the spirit of truth the Holy Spirit amen so this is chapter 3 we're gonna continue with chapter 4 in the next video so God bless you let us pray Father God thank you so much for this opportunity you have given us in the reading of the book of first of John chapter 3 Father God, we pray in Jesus' name that this word can touch people's hearts and they can be convinced by your Holy Spirit to continue being obedient to the to your Son Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus. Help us and help us continue in your love, in your peace, in your commitments of obedience towards you and to fulfill Father God your plans and your purpose will your perfect will for our life in Jesus name we pray amen amen so God bless you see you in the next video um, chapter 4 God bless you